One year later, it's back, and it's bigger than ever. On the 14th, 15th, and 16th of October 2016, Jotty Radio takes you back to the airwaves for Jotta Jotty 2016. Join all your favourite presenters for the best chat and music on the station perfect to complement your Jotta Jotty weekend. Find out more and tune in at jottyradio.org or on the apps for mobile and tablet devices. So um, we are now having an interview with the Secretary General of the World Organisation of Scout Movement, um, Scott Tier. Remember, you can uh, watch us on YouTube, Avon Scout Radio, uh, see all the live action. So, hello. Good afternoon, how are you? Very good, thank you. What is your name and what do you do? My name is Scott Tier, and I'm the Secretary General of the World Organisation of the Scout Movement. We are Eloise and Robin, and we're going to ask you a little bit of some questions. Super. So, um, what is your day-to-day scouting involve? Well, if you've ever been to a 7-Eleven store, you know that they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that's sometimes how I feel because uh, no. Dear, it's a bit frozen. So I'm, uh, I'm sort of plugged in and ready to go uh, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I've told people they can, they can call me at 2 o'clock in the morning if they want to, and, uh, and I'll answer the phone and, uh, and certainly try to be helpful. So my day-to-day scouting activity is uh, just around the clock, and I would not have it any other way. Oh, that's great. Uh, so how long have you been involved in scouting, and uh, why did you join well, you know, that's, that's always, everybody's always asking that question because they're trying to figure out how old I am. <laughs> and, uh, I, I, and I always tell people I'm not 48 anymore. And then they say, well, they must be 49. I turned 65 uh, October the 2nd. And on October the 1st in 1959, I joined the Cub Scouts. So I've been involved. Uh, you can do the math. I've been involved in, uh, in scouting since, uh, since October 1st, 1959 which means I just celebrated 57 years of uh, continuous membership with the scouting program. Wow, that's, that's amazing. So um, what would you say has been your favorite scouting experience? My favorite scouting experience? Well, first of all, you need to understand that I, I grew up in the United States and in the northern part of the United States. So when winter came, it was very cold. And there was a lot of snow. And we're talking snow uh, waist deep or more. So I think my favorite scouting experience was the first time that we went winter camping, where we actually uh, dug a, a hole in the, in the deep snow to put our tents down under and, uh, and spent the weekend in our tents uh, camping out in very, very cold weather. Uh, and it snowed every night. But you know, when you, when you lower yourself below the snow like that, you know, the wind's block. And when you go to sleep at night, it's really very, very comfortable. But by far, my friends and I were excited about that camp out. I think I was 12 years old at the time. And uh, that still remains uh, probably the best experience. But I'm going to tell you about the second best experience. And that was a canoe trip, a weekend canoe trip that the older scouts of my troop took. And it was a father and son canoe trip. So that meant my dad and I uh, were in a canoe together with all of our gear in the middle and... uh, and we spent uh, a weekend canoeing down a river in Michigan called the Osaba River, camping overnight with with my scout friends and their dads, uh, and that still uh, remains as a as a very fond memory. So those are the two things that I remember most of my scouting days. Um, we hear you are retiring soon. What are your plans, and do you think you'll still stay involved in scouting? Nasty you. That means you know I'm 65 now. So no one knows. When I say I'm no longer 48, that means, yeah, I'm 65. It's retirement age. And uh, my, this is actually the last uh, official scouting activity I'll do, uh, this interview here today. Uh, uh, my last day in the office will be October the 31st, but uh, I have no other uh, scouting activities planned except for finishing up some paperwork here at the office and checking out. After retirement, I'm going to move back to my home in Texas. I have uh, five dogs, one cat. And uh, that are waiting for me anxiously, and of course my 
my family, Marty, and my three sons uh, are waiting there as well. So looking forward to, uh, to going home and uh, taking care of the yard and taking care of the house, and uh, we'll see what happens. That sounds lovely. So um, as a scout, um, what has been your proudest moment? Would, uh, the highest rank you can earn in scouting in the United States is called the Eagle Scout Badge. And uh, I did earn that, earn that award. And I guess the proudest moment was uh, the night that I was awarded the Eagle Scout Award and my mother pinned it on my uniform. And uh, I remember the, uh, the, the smiles and looks on their faces when they, um, when they pinned it on my shirt. It was proud for them and proud for me. Mm. That's nice. So um, there are a lot of people that are thinking about joining Scouts and don't know. What would you say to them? If they don't know if they want to join the Scouts, um, the, the friends that I have kept my entire life, and now keep in mind I joined the Scouts a long time ago, the friends that I've kept my entire life are the friends that I made in Scouts. I don't know where uh, any of my classmates are from high school. We've all lost touch with one another. But all the young people uh, that were my age in the scout troop and uh, involved in scouting in my hometown, uh, and we all keep in touch. We know where everyone is. So you're going to make new friends, and they'll be the friends that you'll keep for a lifetime. So join, join the scouts and make, make new friends, make the right kind of friends, because you'll all share the common values found in our old duty to God and country, duty to others, and duty to self. Brilliant. Thank you for coming on. Um, I know you're probably quite busy at this stage. Um, yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Have a good afternoon. You too.